Right, adding and subtracting decimals, it's as easy as adding and subtracting anything, really. The um, thing is, if we're playing with decimals, you've got to make sure the decimal point is in the right place and that all the numbers that you're adding or subtracting are lined up perfectly. So look at this, for example. Um, we've got page 64.3, adding and subtracting decimals, and the first one is 14.3. We've got to add on to that 7.6. Well, all right, that's how it's presented. It's a lot safer to do this. Look, 14.3 and 7.6. There you know decimal places lined up, decimal points lined up. So put the points straight down um, where you're about to put your answer and just add as normal. Okay, uh, 3, 6 becomes 9, 4, 1, uh, 4, 11 becomes, <laughs> 4, 7 becomes 11, 1 plus 1 is 2, 21.9. We'll do a little subtraction one now, put it uh, here I think. We've got 17.6, take away 8.54. So line out properly, 17.6 and 8.54. Well, look, as usual, you have to take off the 6 and um, go 5 and borrow 1 across there. You've got a 0 there to so give it the 1. Is that right? Just as you, if, if we're playing with 1760, take away 854, we'd have to do something like that. Alright, so I've borrowed from the 6, taking it over into the 100th column. 10 take away 4, 6. Oops, put this one point in there first. Uh, 5 take away 5, nothing at all. Um, 7 take away 1, can't do it. So borrow from next door. 17 take away 8. Sorry, 7 take away 8, can't be done. 17 take away 8, we're looking at 9. There you go, answer 9.06. Is that alright? Lovely. And there's grade E for me. Now that's a load of rubbish. Oh, let's just do another one. I've got to do this, so I may as well do it without a calculator. Obviously, it's not a calculator unit. I've got 87.4, take away 31.6, and then when I'm done, I've got to add on 42.9. Let's do the take away bits first. So, 87.4, 31.6, take them away. Can't do this 4 take away 6, borrow from the 7. Oops, that becomes a 6 that to 1. Uh, 14 take away 6 is going to be roughly 8. Um, 6 take away the 1 is the 5. 8 take away 3 is 5. So far I have 55.8. Now I can add on my 42. So 42.9. I see no reason why we can't do this bit like that. Uh, get the answer ready. Uh, I guess we place there. Point rather. 8 plus 9 is 17. 5 plus 2, 7 plus 1 is 8, 5 and 4 is 9, 98.7, and that's that one. Right, going over to question 5, um, there it is, I've done a quick cut and paste job. Uh, we have a, a menu on the right hand side, sandwiches, toast and sandwich, with a toasty sandwich, add 30p, panini, 245, jacket potato, cold filling, 180, jacket potato with a hot filling, 2 pound, soup, one pound twenty-five. Tea or coffee, one hundred five. Hot, hot. That's hot drinks. Cold drinks, just uh, ninety-five p. Probably a can or something. Anyway, college snack bar has the following menu. I just read it to you. And Carl buys soup, sandwich, and a cold drink. How much does he pay? Right. What we got here? Soup. So he obviously likes his soup. We got one pound twenty-five for the soup. We have got a cold drink. That's not a good idea, Carl. Is it a cold drink? Goodness sake. Um, on top of soup, some kids like that obviously. What else we got? S and a sandwich, oh, this has got some sense then. It's £1.65. How much does he pay? Well, let's just see how much the boy has to pay. Um, some people actually go to Tesco's and buy like a meal deal, a couple of sandwiches and a drink for a couple of quid. Seems cheaper to me. Right, let's do some addition. Um, 555 is 15. Oops, put the decimal point there. Uh, 2, 9, 11, 17 plus 1. Do it again, too quick. Uh, 2 plus 9, 11 plus 6 is 17 plus 1 is 18. And 1, 2, 3, the boy's going to pay £3.85 for that. Now, Jill, on the other hand, she's going to buy a jacket potato and a cold filling and a coffee. Ah, uh, she's a sensible girl. And she'll pay with a £5 note. How much change should she receive? Well, let's work out how much she has to pay first of all, and then we'll worry about giving her some change later. Right, what we got? Jill's got a potato with a cold filling. So there it is, £1.80. Let's write it down. Jill's going to buy uh, a cup of coffee with that. 
and coffee's down there at 105. Uh, what do we got here? Uh, 58.2. All right, so here we go. She's gonna have to pay two pound eighty five. Now we're gonna pay with five pound note. Essentially, five pounds take away two pounds eighty seven. Oops, two pound eighty five. I accidentally added two in my brain there. Um, change two pounds and fifteen p. Um, we could set it out like this if you really want to. Five dot zero zero, and then two dot eighty five, and then have to go and borrow from the five and all this kind of jazz. Give it to that, and become ten, and say, "Oopsie daisy, you haven't got one." Borrow it off the ten. You go down to nine. You go over there. Gives the same answer. Let's just try it. I, mean, I wouldn't just do that. I mean, clearly, if you're paying with a five pound note, you get about two pound, two pound eighty, uh, two pound uh, fifteen. Obvious. Anyway, see if it works. Ten take away five is five. 9 take away 8 is 1, put a dot, 4, four take away 2 is 2, oh by the way, that should be take away like I said, <coughs> not, alright so there you go, it works out the same, £2.15 uh, change if you're buying £2.85 worth of lunch, and that's for Jill, now what about Zach, now Zach wants to eat something and he wants to drink something, nice sensible isn't it, he's only got £2.75, uh, list the combinations that he could afford to buy. I'm not going to do that. I'm so not. So what can he buy? I don't know. Let's give the boy a sandwich for 165, and we'll give him a hot drink to go with it. Altogether, two pounds seventy. He can afford to do that. He can have a sandwich with a cold drink because a cold drink is cheaper. Um, <clears throat> once if he had a, a sandwich and has it toasted, that will come to 195. 195. He can't have a hot drink with it. That's for sure. What about a cold drink? So let's just try that one out. So 195. That's with a toasted sandwich. And what about a cold drink? 95p. Oh, he can do that because that's under three. Let's just have a look, shall we? Let's try. Let's just try it. Right. Add it up quickly. That's zero. 18 plus one is 19. Dot two. Un oh, unlucky Zach. You cannot have a toasted sandwich with a with a cold drink. Anyway, you can play with that. I'm not doing it. What you're doing is just trying different combinations, avoiding the obvious ones he can't afford. For example, he can't afford a jacket potato with a hot filling and a hot drink. It's just not allowed. That comes to 305. You play with it. You practice adding and taking away decimals and leave me alone with that one. And I'll catch you in the next video.